In order for you to build a successful business online, one of the most important things that you must do is to become that expert, that leader, that person with authority so that people could come to you and ask you for a solution. So your question must be, how can I become that leader, that expert, and that person with authority online fast? If you have not checked out my From Newbie to an Authority Figure in Two Simple Steps video, you should definitely click uh, click the description and find the video and watch that video. One of the things that we talk about is providing value. In that video, I have talked about different things that you could do to provide value to your audience so that people start seeing you as a problem solver, people start seeing you as authority with a solution. Today, I'm actually going to show you how to create an infograph so that you can become the instant authority in your niche. Now, you probably ask me, what is an infograph? Well, infographs are information with graphic, right? So basically, you're going to create something that is simple, easy for people to read, but also have image referred to. So you could do something, let's say if you are in the health and wellness industry, you could create an infograph talking about 10 different exercises that a mom could do at home without equipment. So you could talk about this exercise and then you have an image of yourself doing it. So that will come, that will become your infograph, right? Now, how long is the infograph? People ask, really doesn't have to have a lot. You could have 10 things on that infograph, 10 to 15 things. And that probably result to about two or three pages. Hey, my name is Candace Bree Walston from createfreedomwithcandace.com. I simplify marketing strategy for entrepreneurs so that they can have the confidence to start taking the right action and start building a profitable business online. Today, I'm going to show you how to create your own infograph using a free software. In order for me to show you, we're going to head over to my good old laptop. So I'm going to walk you through from start to finish, step by step, how to create your own infograph. So stay tuned. Let's go. So here we are on my desktop on Canva. So I'm going to show you how to create your very first own infograph. Again, there is a link in my video that show one of the infograph that I have done for you. So you can kind of take a look at the example of exactly what an infograph looks like. I'm going to show you exactly how to create it step by step here. Very easy. If you've never done it before, don't freak out. It's very easy. So let's go. So when you get into a um, camera, this is what you see. Your, your front page is right here. Um, most of the time when you log in, this is what you have. When you click on browse all, you will get a lot more out of uh, templates and all of that. And if you have done any work at all, these are all the work that you have done before. So let's go click on browse all. And if you scroll down, so this is for all social media. This is for all document and all of this stuff right here. So you kind of scroll down marketing, infograph. So you want to click on, you want to go down to marketing and click on infograph. And once you click on infographs, this is what you see. Now, there is, when you first open it, it's a blank page. You could pick some of the pre-done for you templates. So all you need to do, just replace your, your own information in there, okay? So you, there is pre-done that one. You could also create your own if you want to. Now for the, the, the time being today, I'm going to just show you how you could actually just pick, a, pick one of the templates. Most of the time I do pick a template because most of the templates are pretty easy and you could just kind of sort of select um, one of the templates and you just replace it, replace with it. Now, what is considered as a good infograph? So, just like the word infograph, as a good infograph, you need to have information and graphic in there. So make sure whatever infograph that you have, you gotta have a little bit, um, a little bit of uh, information written out, and then you. It would be a really good idea for each of your point, you have an image to show an example of it. Let's say if you're doing an infograph on recipe on. Uh, everybody's doing keto diet. So let's say if you're doing an infograph on a keto recipe, you want to have a little description of the, the recipe and then maybe a finished product of that dish, right? Um, if you are 
into workout and you want to do an infograph on how a, 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 a mom could stay at home and work out without equipment, you could probably do a little explanation of what is this um, exercise is about and then maybe a picture of yourself doing it to show the form and all of that, right? Um, there's so many different things that you could do with it, okay? And a good infograph, and if we are marketing ourselves, a good infographs always start with first page as an introduction. An introduction. So make sure the first thing that you wanted to do is to actually um, give a little a good introduction, you know, an introduction of yourself, who you are and what you do. This is very important when it comes to branding. Again, if you are still struggling with your brand, I do have a video in below that talks about uh, how you cre create your own brand and you're still struggling with it. This is the time that you probably want to schedule an appointment with me so that we could actually um, talk about what is your branding when it comes down to it, right? So um, you, want, you want to have an image of yourself because it is branding. So you want people to start recognizing your face and all of that. So an image of yourself, um, who you are, what you, what you can, what's your brand and what you can do for people. How can people reach you? That should be the first thing that people see, right? Uh, when I do my infograph, I do a first page into my introduction. And then um, when I do it, I'm gonna show you in a little bit on the further, on the footer, I always have either my my website or or you know a link to my website or my schedule link for them to schedule an appointment with me. So that and then after that, that will be for you to break down point one, two, and three. And if you're affiliated with anything, let's say if you are, let's say if you are into cooking. And you found this machine. Um, I know a lot of people is using instant cook, instant pot right now. So let's say if you bought an instant pot from Amazon, you could create an affiliate link for the instant pot um, that you purchased through Amazon, so that you could actually create a hyperlink inside your infograph. So when people are looking at it on the computer, and when you introduce, when you recommend people to buy the the instant instant pot from Amazon and when they make a purchase you could actually make money out of it right so that's another thing to keep in mind and then also another thing is to keep in mind is that you know anytime you you know yes we have we, we're giving out value valuable information but don't be afraid to kind of to don't be afraid to to promote yourself because the whole point of you doing this it is for people to get to see you and know you and like you and like all of this to see you as an expert so if anything that you do even though it's you know a lot of people say well i shouldn't be pitching i shouldn't be selling my product even if you are you know if your product is giving you certain results for what whatever particular area that you're talking about you could always recommend this is the product that i use to get this result and you could just hyperlink it or you say if you want to know more about it be sure to schedule a time with me if you don't want to give people the link right away so there's different things that you could do inside of infograph the hyperlink it definitely is a great thing all right for the time being so that i you know so like this video will not go on and on i'm gonna quickly show you how you could create an infograph so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just pick one of this. It really doesn't matter which one. Um, let's say I'm gonna pick this one. Um, this one's I'll talk a little bit about sports and all that, and this is social media. Whichever one you want to pick really doesn't matter. Let's go for let's go for this one. All right. If I'm gonna click on this one, must have small tool, whatever, and you see how they break down and it, each column has a logo of each thing this is kind of pretty good because it's already set a space for you to put an image a title and have text in here so this is actually a pretty good template now you say probably that's not enough room for me that is okay you could keep typing and just keep pushing it down okay just make sure whatever you do want to make sure that a good infograph would be kind of sort of proportional so if each page you have four different items then make sure every single page you have four different items. If they can't fit in four different items, then make every single page of three different items. So that kind of make a little bit room, okay? Uh, if I was but if I was doing this, the first you know first thing I do I I I pick the templates 
Next thing I do, I will copy the page. The reason being, I want to make sure I have, you know, a couple pages here. I mean, you could wait until later to do it, but I like to do it right away because I know my first page, it would be my intro. So what I'm going to do is, this would be my intro. Uh, of course, I'm going to keep the title. Let's say if, if the title was, uh, to be honest, I, I really don't cope, but I'm going to try to do it. Keto diet. Uh, must have uh, or maybe we could do keto keto recipe how about that hmm? so we just do this keto recipe okay um, the text is a little bit big but that's okay and you could actually resize it so i'm gonna resize it to fit so let's do 72 uh, still a bit big, 64, so that fits. And then maybe a subtitle would be, oh, a subtitle could be, um, I don't know, maybe 15 keto, 15 easy keto um, meal. All right, so I could do something like that. And then the next page down here, I would probably put a picture myself now here. Um, pictures wise, it's always good to have your own pictures, but if you don't have pictures, right, there's always right here in the element, it has free picture, free graphic and everything, all right? But if you were doing your own infograph for the branding sake, for people to get to know, like, and trust you, it's always a good to have your own picture. If you have your own picture, just go to upload right here, and then you just upload, you know, upload any picture you want. Now, you really don't have to spend big money on, you know, buying fancy, you know, having professional photo shoot. A lot of phone now this day takes pretty good pictures. Have, just make sure you have good lighting. Uh, on, on doing pictures and all of that, right? So if I was gonna pick a picture, let's say I'm gonna pick this picture, right? And I'm gonna just drag it over here. I'm gonna replace this one. So I'm gonna delete this one, uh, delete this, uh, this alum, uh, delete this group. And I'm gonna drag my picture over here. Yes, it's a little bit big, but not a problem. We could always, fix it right so let's say this is one of my picture this is you know this is my intro page it has my picture you probably want to do an intro page of yourself so i would right here i would put down you know my title uh and what i can do and you know all of these things here if let's say if you say this is i, I if you want this to be your intro and you don't like this divider right here, that's okay. Just click on it. When you click on it, you see this little bar, bar right here, you, should, you will see the delete button. And now you could just delete a whole group. <coughs> now it's gone, right? If you keep writing and you say, this is too many, I want to delete, that's just click on it and just delete a whole group and everything's gone. It's not that big a deal, okay? All right, so you can start writing. Let's say if this is my Facebook and I want them to be, when they're reading online, I want them to be able to go straight to my Facebook. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on it. Um, I'm gonna highlight it, all right? And I'm gonna click on this three little dot right here and you see link right here. Now I click on it and I could just put a link into it, okay? Facebook.com, okay? And now when they're reading, if you know, once they download this and they're reading on their computer, they could just click on Facebook and it will take them straight to my Facebook. This is how you hyperlink, okay? Um, so that's how it, that's how it works. Now, let's say we're working on something now. Let's say if you want to be a little bit fancy, here's one, you know, let's say this is your first recipe. Um, I think I saw something about um, avocado, an egg inside of avocado, baked egg inside avocado. So if you want to put a picture here, let me show you something cool that you could do with different things. You could go to Element, right? Um, you, when you go to Element, you click on here and you go down to um, Frame. I love playing with Frame. If you never play with it, make sure you play with it. It's so cool. 
And basically, you all of these are the frame you select it, and you could put your picture inside a frame. Let's say if you have here, let's say you have few different picture, right? So right here, you could actually put six different picture in here. So you make it to where it looks just right, right? And then you just pick a picture. So let's say I'm just picking random picture, right? And I'm gonna drag. You see how I just drag my picture over to the box whichever box you see kind of overlap and i just put the picture in here so that's my and so let's say if you have if you have few different version or you have the finished or you have a step by step how you prepared this and you want to put step one two and three so one step one two three four five six and you could actually put your image like this as your infograph Okay, so that's how you use like the frame. It's so fun when you know how to use the frame. There are so many different frames that you could actually use. Okay, so um, uh, let's say uh, one of my favorite because I am in, I am into social media. So one of the favorite one. Oh, look at this. This is the puzzle one. So if you were talking something about puzzle, all you need to do just you know. Let's say this is the one that I want to do. So I'm going to delete this thing, delete this whole group. And I'm going to pick the puzzle one. And I'm going to make it smaller because it's too big. And when you make it smaller, all you need to do is just kind of drag. And you just make it smaller. That's it, right? Make sure you make, you drag it like, you, you resize it like this. So I'm going to put it right here. And then now I'm going to just upload a picture. Remember, we will upload a picture. And then all you need to do, just drag the picture over to the frame, right? And that's it. That's it. That's how it is. Okay? So that's how you use frame, okay? Um, frame is fun, very fun. Now let's talk about background so let's say if your background you don't like the background you could always choose different background they have background templates here or you could just simply you know if you if you want you could simply just uh, click on the page anywhere and you could choose to change the background color if you want to whatever you wanted to do okay um, text let's say if you're not happy with this text and you want to change different font uh, something like that. There's so many different fun in here. Now, guys, this is a free version of uh, Canva, and just the free version, you get to do a lot already, okay? Uh, folders. This is another thing that I want to talk to you guys about. If you finish this product and you want to put in a folder, you could actually put in a folder. Um, another thing that I want to talk to you about, so let me show you. Let's say this picture, you see how this picture, no matter what you're working on, this picture is overlapping the, 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 the uh, words behind it. If you want the words to show up in front of the picture, all you need to do is just click on, the, click on these words and you go to position. Now you put the words forward, right? Now if you put the fo word forward, so now you can see this is in front of, okay? Sometimes, let's say if you have two pictures, right? and you want one picture to show up to another. Like right now, these two pictures overlap each other. And you see how this, it's overlapping. You could, I could actually click on this and I go forward, I go backward, all right? I'm just gonna do it. So the positioning is the one that actually show you where you want it to be, all right? So that's how you work on most of the stuff. To change the font, to, to change the font, it's right here. You click on the font, you change the font, the size, the color of the font, all right? Um, Space-wise, you click on space and you want how, how big and how small the space is. There's so many different things. All right, that is how you create an infograph. Again, guys, infograph is so easy. You see how this bottom right here, they give the, their website? If you want to give out your website, you could put your website down here as well. Or if you want people to um, schedule an appointment with you, you could put your schedule link here, or you could put um, for more. So let's do for more info. For more info, please contact me. And let's say if, 
let's say if you want them to contact you and you want them to be able to click on it, all you need to do is um, highlight this, contact me, and then go uh, hyperlink and you put your schedule link in there, okay? So now bear in, put it, I want you to keep this in mind. Some people like to print out the infograph so that they can have it handy. Some people like to read it online. So to best cover um, everything, this is why I would suggest you to put an actual link. So if you have a website, so let's say your website is Keto, Smart Keto. Let's say your, 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 your website is smartketo.com, right? So now, in, whenever they go, they will be able to go to their website. And what, if, if they are reading it online, you could, you know, you could also still highlight it and put a hyperlink as, you know, www.smartketo.com, um, like that, okay? You could actually do that. And you could also show it in here. So if they're reading it on computer, they could click on it. And if they print it, out, print it out, it's right here. So now that we're done, let's say this is how it is. We, we are done with our infograph. Then you need to download your infograph. When you download your infograph, right, if it is, it is an infograph, right, it's not an image, make sure you download the PDF standard or PDF print. Doesn't matter which, app, which one. Because if you download as a PNG, Whenever you download a PNG or JPEG, when you have more than one page, so right now we have two pages, right? When you have more than one page of image that you download as a PNG or JPEG, um, a lot of time it will download into a zip file and it will separate, there will not be one file. So, but because this is an infograph, it is a PDF file that you want people to look at you want to download as a PDF or PDF print, whichever one you want. So I'm gonna click on PDF print and it will download. Once it's download, now you could actually get share it with people, publish that, and you will become the instant um, authority and expert in your area. So let's take a look at this infograph that we just finished again. Believe me, this is just a rough draft on how it looks like, but this is the this is the possibility of what it could be for you when you finish. So make sure you have some good image. Make sure you have think about how many items you want to 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 put on this infograph. Anywhere between ten to twenty is plenty enough. Okay. Make sure the first page would be your little bio talks about who you are, what you can do for them, what is this PDF file, what this infographs is about, and how they can contact you. And then starting from second page, that's how you would be able to, how you're gonna put all of your content in there. Make sure it's an infograph, it will attract a lot of people with brief description of what it is with pictures okay guys now wasn't that fun and easy to create your very first infograph i cannot wait to hear what you have done be sure to come back and let me know once you create your very first infograph all right guys if you like this video please be sure to give me a thumbs up share this video to whatever platform that you're at so that you could help more people and be sure to subscribe to my channel if this is the first time that you're watching me be sure to say hi to me so that i could welcome you to my community with that being said guys this is candace from create freedom with i'll see you next time bye